What's going on guys, Josh Pocock here. And in today's video, we are gonna be taking a look at an open source free alternative to tools like V0, as well as an alternative to another open source tool we covered, Screenshot to Code. This tool is called napkins.dev and it is created by together.ai. We're gonna to dive into it, show you how you can use it. Let's dive right in. All right, guys so here is napkins.dev so from screenshot to app like i mentioned before we recently covered screenshot to code on this channel and napkins.dev like i mentioned is um, made by together.ai and if you're not familiar with together.ai i'll leave a link in the description down below you can sign up for free and they give you a certain amount of credits and they allow you to run some of the open source larger models like llama 90b or and it's pretty nice for running open source models that are larger which you wouldn't be able to run on your system okay so sign up there and make sure you get an api key because we're going to need it in just a second okay so like i said you could use llama 3.1 405b um, llama 3.2 vision a bunch of different options i'd also use a sand pack for the code interface right here as you can see a live coding environment in record time live coding in the browser as you can see here and it uses amazon s3 here for the file uploads it's a Next.js app router with tailwind and helicon is available for observability and you can see that is right here llm for observability for developers the open source platform for logging monitoring and debugging as you can see here it's pretty nice so this is optional you don't actually have to um, use this in the environment variables but the other ones are mandatory all right now there is two ways to use this so first things first um, i'll go over actually how to run it locally so what you're going to do is you're going to copy this git clone repo command right here and you're going to go into your terminal and then you're going to go to the location where of course you want to clone it and then you're simply just going to run git clone napkins once you do that, you can actually just open up napkins. So CD into napkins and then just run code dot to open up napkins in VS code. Okay. Once you have that open, you'll see that this is the napkins repo. Um, if we go over here to the dot example dot ENV, you will see that this is where your environment variables will be. So we got our S3 upload key, S3 upload secret, the bucket, the region, and then the together API key. So Really, you just need the together API key and then all the S3 stuff. You don't need the helicone if you don't want it, but you're going to want to make a copy of this and rename it to .env. Step three, it says create a S3 bucket and add your credentials to the .env. Follow this guide to set them up. All required fields are in the .env .example. So if we go here, this is actually a next S3 upload. All right, so if you need help setting up the S3, you can see that this is what it is using and you can reference these docs right here. I'll leave them in the description down below. Uh, make sure you get those keys and then plug them into the environment variables. And once that is done, you can simply run npm install and then you can also run npm run dev to start it up on localhost 3000. Okay, so that's gonna start it up and we'll come back to that in just a second. Before I do, I just want to mention that you can actually go to napkins.dev if you want, and you can actually just use their hosted version 100% for free, which is really nice. So as you can see here, we got napkins.dev made by together.ai. Turn your wireframe into an app. Upload an image of your website design and we'll build it out for you with React plus Tailwind. All right, so the cool thing about this is it's using Llama 3.2. 11b or llama 3.290b vision all right so up here you can actually go ahead and test it out it says need an example image try ours so here's just an example image as you can see it looks like it's just some written stuff on a napkin which is where the name comes from you can go ahead and click on generate app and it is analyzing the image right here you can see here that we got the sand pack over here on the left hand side and it is generating this clawed uh, artifacts like interface right here and Look at that. We got pretty damn close. We got the logo, the um, home, about, contact. The login is a little bit on the left where it should be on the right, which is okay. We got book an appointment, you know, pretty much the entire form right here. You could open it in sandbox right here. So if you click this, it's going to open in code sandbox.io where you could view it, see all the code there. But of course, you could simply just copy the code right here and use this code let's go ahead and try something else i'm just going to drag our youtube interface right here and then click on generate app 
and you'll see here it is analyzing the image as you can see the code is being generated right here really pretty quick i mean you know it's an open source model of course it's being hosted on together.ai which is really nice because you can get fast inference times with these open source large um, parameter models right here and here we have um, a replica of you know what's supposed to be my youtube channel right here so we can see we got the home video shorts playlist community etc all right now we're going to use the chat gpt interface right here we'll go ahead and try the 11b model to see how well it can do with that okay so it looks like it is messing up with the smaller model I, I believe i'm gonna go ahead and try it one more time let's go ahead and generate the app okay yeah so definitely i would recommend using the larger models right here let's go ahead and try it now okay and definitely not perfect but as you can see at least it's actually working to a degree all right so it's a pretty simple app i think you guys get the point now the one thing i will say that is kind of cool is if you are using their hosted version you essentially get it for free because you're not putting in your together ai api key now if you do do it self-hosted you will have your api key in there so it will be using your credits or your tokens whatnot and i just wanted to cover this tool quick some of you guys may be familiar with some of the other tools that we've covered from together ai such as llama coder there's a few different ones here too as well and this is actually a nice little demo pack that together ai released announcing together demos all 10 open source ai apps I built this year in one place. They have 500k users plus and 12 and 12k GitHub stars overall, and they're all free and open source. So pretty cool stuff that they actually released this. You could go ahead, you know, use these tools, build upon these tools, iterate upon these tools. We got Notes GPT, Explore Careers, Twitter Bio, Napkins right here, PDF to Chat, Llama Tutor, Turbo Seek, Llama Coder, Linkshot description generator so pretty cool stuff i'll leave all this linked in the description down below guys let me know what your thoughts are about napkins as well as some of these other together ai demo projects just wanted to give you guys a quick update i'm working on a few other videos so stay tuned for that if you guys are new to the channel we upload videos every single day on ai marketing sales business growth so if you like that type of content and you got some value here make sure to smash the like button comment down below and subscribe to stay up to date with the daily uploads also too, guys, if you haven't already joined our free community, strikecommunity.com, I'll leave a link down below for our free Facebook group and Discord channel. And then also too, guys, if you run a business and you need help booking more appointments with paid advertising, outbound prospecting, implementing AI, AI agents into your business, like AI cold callers, call centers, whatever the case may be, book a call down below at executivestride.com forward slash apply to see if it's a good fit or not. Other than that, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, accelerate your stride. Take care.